Hello everybody and welcome back. As you can see, episode 2 already. Oh, so much fun. Still testing out all the things and still no update. There is no ETA. We are in alpha testing. It's not even in beta testing yet. Uh, so please bear with them. Give them time. Don't ask. It is what it is. You can't get on the server. It's invite only, etc, etc. Alright, now that that spiel's all done at the beginning, let's jump right into it. Last episode, we got the smeltery going. We played a little bit with the Neotech grinder. Oh my, that's a very large tree. Um, and I did a little bit of other cleaning up around here. I kind of leveled things out a little bit. I harvested the rubber trees that were around here from industrial craft, and I replanted them over here, just in a little bit neater, nicer, clean setup. Uh, but we do have a little bit of, we do have some more saplings and stuff, so we're good to go there. Um, I haven't done any additional mining yet, and the reason being, I want to make a hammer. I want to make a hammer and maybe even a lumber axe right away. So let's get our tool forge here. And we're just going to use those blocks of iron that we made up with some extra seared bricks and the tool station. Boom. Tool forge get. Now the tool forge is going to let us actually make the hammer, which requires two plates. Yeah, two plates, a hammerhead, and a tough tool rod. All right, good. And then the lumber axe is a large plate, a lumber axe head, a tough rod. Okay. You know what? We're going to do this with clay. Everybody always gives me a hard time. Okay. We'll just leave it at that. So we need two of these. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight clay. And we need to smelt this up. All right. Everybody, every time I do my smeltery and I jump right to gold, because usually I already have gold, um, it's always like, you know you can use clay, right? Yes. Yes. I know I can use clay. <laughs> I do. I promise. I know. But, but, I don't want to use clay. And you know what? Hold on. Let's even rethink this for a second. Why don't we just use stone? Like, am I going to use other materials for this? I don't think I am. You know that? I don't think I am. You know what I am going to do, though? We are going to do the tool rods for both of them in a different material. So we're going to need four of these. Yeah. We're going to need at least four. Because I definitely want to get the tool rods done up with a little bit of copper. And these require, I think it's three each? Is that right? Three each. Yeah. So we need three copper. Copper is wonderful. Just leave it at that. So we're going to do up some copper. We're going to do up the clay. So that's going to be our tough stone tool rod. Okay. And let's get another one here. Tough tool rod. Good. Okay. So that'll be our two tool rods for our lumber axe and our hammerhead. Now I'm thinking we just leave this as stone. I really am. I'm really thinking that way. Uh, I'm not sure about the large plates. Could we get a different large plate that would be better? I'm not too sure on that. Durability. We could get a flint one. A flint one's not bad. I don't have bone. Don't have any of the rest of this stuff. <laughs> Basically. Well, that's not true. We could do iron. That is something that we could do. All right, so we have clay. Perfect. So we're going to pour the clay on our tough tool rod cat, on our tough tool rod itself. It's going to process just like everything else before it. And there you go. We have that in place. Now I'm going to select my copper and I'm going to pour my copper handle in that. All right, pretty straightforward. Uh, that's going to also process, and voila, there goes our cast, all right? Now I'm going to repeat the process with clay, and then with the cast again. So that is the first step. I think I'm just going to go with another stone plate. Yeah, for now. The good thing about the new Tinker's Construct is a simple fact. You can upgrade everything now um used to need like iguana tweaks and all that kind of stuff in the past but you no longer require those items um going forward so you're good to go 
So 312 durability, really not a good durability score. Really not. Um, slow mining speed, and it can mine up to iron. That's not too bad. I'm okay with this. We also get, because we put the copper handle on it, we gain experience as we mine. And cheapskate, well, basically, it's not a very good tool. All right? So we're going to get the hammer. Awesome. Um, binding. Hmm. Large binding, right? No, what's this thing? Tough binding. Tough binding. Tough binding. Um, I might switch that up. Okay, we got the copper. Let's get our tool rod for that. I think I'm just going to go stone again for this guy. Pretty straightforward. And I think it required a plate, right? One plate. All right, good. One plate. We'll do stone again. Keeping it nice and simple. And you know what? I'm going to keep it with the stone binding as well. And then we got the copper tool rod. So we have a little bit of our setup for our tools. Now, they're not impressive tools at all. Um, they're pretty straightforward, actually. But they're going to work for us quite nicely for the foreseeable future. So now we, that we have a lumber axe, we can boom and chop down this entire tree. And as you can see, we are gaining the experience. And this is from the copper handle. Uh, that we're gaining experience from this. So that is great. And as you can see, it used about, well, almost half, not quite, a little over 100 durability. So we're going to be able to get at least a few, couple more uses out of that, which is just great. I mean, the, the amount of spruce that we're going to get from that thing makes it well worthwhile. Um, I'm going to wait for the saplings to drop, and I think we're going to go mining. Yeah, and you know what? I'd love to get some obsidian, but I don't have anything that can mine it yet. So we're going to have to hold off on that for right now. So I also decided to make copper tool rods for the rest of my tools here, and I wanted to demonstrate just how easy you can upgrade these things. So pretty straightforward. We do gain a little bit of durability as well. As you can see, it went from 132 to 141 with this upgrade over the um, over the wooden handle. So just kind of upgrading all of our tools across the board, getting things ready to go. It's coming up on nighttime. I think I'm going to sleep and I'm going to go mining. We are going to go on a good mining adventure because it's basically that time. We need lots and lots. That's not going to work. We're going to need lots and lots of resources going forward here. So I'm going to do my best to get as much mining done as possible between the little cuts here. Yes, little cuts. Uh, one sapling out of that tree. Really? Unless they're all caught up there. I doubt it, though. Just an assumption. All right, there we go. Plant that guy. Oops. All right, so bringing you guys back in at this point, um, I've been farming a little bit off camera, but honestly, what I've been doing the most is trying to come up with designs and what I'm feeling for this area. And it's not going that well, but I think we're going to go like a medieval steampunk. Now, I've never built steampunk in minecraft i've seen other people do it i've seen lots of amazing builds with steampunk minecraft but i've never myself actually built with it um so it's going to be a little bit trying um i'm just testing out a few things snow is not bad at all actually it kind of gives that nice white quartz or laboratory blocks would probably be my go-to i'm thinking laboratory blocks from chisel um the spruce wood, I mean, I, I prefer the spruce, personally, for building. That's just my own taste, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of people would say, you know, use oak, etc. And, of course, I use some chiseled up cobblestone here for wide bricks. And that kind of gives, I think, the effect for some of the structure points of the stone part of it. But I'm also thinking that we need to do some chisel and bits and really just see if we can't take this to another level. And the reason being, well, <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those things. I've 
I've not played around with chisels and bits, all right? And it's amazing. Everybody I've talked to says absolutely amazing things about it. I would like to give it a try. I really would, and I think that we probably could. So a combination of chisel and chisel and bits is probably what we want to do. I think I need more of this stuff, though. How do I... What? Just anything. I got to chisel it? Okay. So if I go like this and I do that. Nope. Do that. Nope. 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 Okay. What if I place it in the world? Okay. Um, oh, and then you just, you can hack away at it. Is this actually how you collect stuff with it? Is there a better way? God, I hope there's a better way. Um, is that blocking it? That's cool, though. Look at this. You can just pick apart the textures, just like so, out of the block. Okay. That's pretty sweet. I really do like it. There's probably a better way to actually do this, my guess. Um, also, this fluid bit tank has me thinking of multiple different things as well that we could try to implement. Um, but what I need is, I think I need a chisel bit bag. That is definitely something that I'm going to need. So we're going to need to go and get some wool. Um, quickly, let's get some shears. I think there's some sheep on my mini-map, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just down over here. So I'm going to venture out through my basement and get over there. Uh, but what you can do is then you can place down these blocks accordingly. Okay, now I have the stone here. So, for example, what we could do is we can actually, like, just add to this, like so. Okay, so you can actually add just little effects like this to weather the stone, etc. Now, I'm going to have to double check and look up the commands, etc., for what we can do. Um, obviously, these things, you can kind of just left-click them and take them off, which is quite nice. You can do that pretty easily, um, all things considered. And with the chisel in your hand, you're even chiseling away at the wood and everything behind it. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Chiseled cobblestone from chisel and bits. Okay, and that's going to be chiseled wood. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so lots of little things that I obviously need to learn because we got a lot to do here. Now, these are going to take a bit of time to actually build, right, and build up. And one of the main things that I think I'm going to need is some spruce. And what I'm thinking with the spruce is just like a line that of, you know, wood trim and this and that here and there. So anyways... Let me get some wool, let's get the bag, and let me play around with this a little bit more. Alright, so I got you back in here, and let's go get the wooden wrench from Chisel and Bits as well. Uh, also, if you hold left alt, which is, I believe, the key at the moment, it'll allow you to do different things here to, do, uh, to take away things. I really like the plain one and the reason I like that one is pretty straightforward because you can just kind of click this like so and you kind of eat away at the spruce. All right. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Just, just saying. Uh, I also did get the bag like we've already discussed. Pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing too crazy there. I wouldn't mind more. Uh, our bag is pretty much full of a lot of different things, but we also do have quite a few resources. So I'm not gonna be too, too concerned overall. Let's quickly mine some of this up, remove it, and see what we can do about some potential building with these materials that we just gathered. They're gonna go, I hope they go a long way. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually make full blocks out of a lot of this stuff. It might not actually be required. So that's a thing as well. So let's get out some snow. Let's get out some spruce. And you know what? Let's just do that for now. Now, 
Yeah, we'll just make that snow block. That's fine. That's fine just like that. Okay. Good there. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, what, what do I want to do here? Now, if I'm thinking in the house, this is going to be the exterior wall. All right. So, what I should do is probably a plane worth of snow. Okay. Basically, one layer of snow. And then we're going to get a wrench. Uh huh. How does this work again? Right click blocks to rotate. I don't think that's what I want in the slightest. No. Um, what do we need? We need a line. Okay. Now, how do we make this line other direction? Does it matter? It might not matter at all. Um, okay. I need to get this correct, though. Okay. So, we need it to be, like, right there. No, I messed that up. Messed that up. Messed it up good. Give me the grass blocks. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to tweak some of this. I'm going to do some things and see what we can actually do. I think I hit uh, left click instead of right click. <laughs> you know. You know how it is, right? Just one of those things, you know, learning. All right, so I'm starting to kind of sort of get the hang of it. Alt again on these can give you the different shapes as well. Right now I'm working with lines, which are working okay. And we have the snow as the backdrop. And then we're kind of, so the snow is off by one back. And then you have this in front of it. And we're just kind of, I'm kind of just playing around with... A pretty simple setup here to begin with. A normal panel is what I'm thinking here. And then we're going to have a few different things here. Now, how many blocks do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Not a great number to deal with. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is... There's no good way for me to do it. Because there's 16 in a block. So, you're always working with even numbers which is not ideal. But what we can do is we can kind of go along like so and put in some dividers just like that. Okay, that worked out well. Kind of like bars, right? Now what I'm thinking is this is more like a wainscoting type setup here, right? And then you're going to obviously have more carrying on throughout. Now, of course, we can play with the the widths and all that kind of stuff as we actually get into the building. Um, but, and then also on top, nope, 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 undo. Thank you. Um, this is the part where I struggle with. Uh, let's go line, right? Go boom, 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 boom. For some reason, the plane likes to put it flat instead of up, even though I'm clicking on the top of the block. I don't know why that is. I'm not sure if there's something else that I need to do or what, but it's one of those things. Okay, so we have another set here for the next level up. And then what we can do again is kind of play off this previous thing with the lines, right? Like so. So we still have the same kind of bordering, which is good. Um, but then what we can do is we can actually make this, oh, say this is thicker wood, right? So we can, you know, add some thickness here, kind of beef it up a little bit. I think the bottom, we need to add another piece of thickness as well, just looking at it, uh, of the wood just to kind of beefen it up a little bit. It was looking a little trim. I'm actually even debating going four in the middle, but it's going to screw up the lines down below. So I want to make sure that I do it correctly. And then say we have one in the middle here. Hmm. So we have one on each side of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that'll be seven. So that is our middle, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, and seven. Okay, so those are our middle. 
Um, so we can just have it like that. And then of course on the top, we're going to need the double thick again. Good. This is looking quite nice already. And then what we can do is we can start getting into some of the little bits. And what I'm thinking is we can do, you know, some sort of a flashing on the side, right? Where we're kind of just setting up some things here. You know, some sort of a flashing there anyways. I think that that could look pretty good. And like so. Yeah, that's like that. And then we skip one. Okay. Now, there is ways to copy everything you're doing and all that kind of stuff. And we'll probably, we will need to use those something fierce. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm just kind of playing around and seeing what we can do with the mod and if it's going to work for the build. Because what I want to do is I want to set up these panels so that we are good to go to build it, right? So, I don't know. We'll see how detailed we get in some of these sections because you can do some pretty neat things. And then maybe in the middle here we do something. Uh, let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is our middle point right here on both. So if we actually go, we could actually make a little something like so. Down two, up and over, right? That would work pretty good. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. And one and one. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Like all these little details that we can add in is so awesome. And you can just keep going. Just keep going with lots of different little details um, on your build. Yeah, I could spend a lot of time tweaking with this, but that looks pretty good. I actually really like that. I think that that's a very neat effect that we can get out of this thing. So then the next step would be, okay, how do we then duplicate that. So if I wanted three panels of these, how do we get three panels across the board? All right. Now I didn't leave myself very much room, but that's okay. We can go, I guess this way. That'll be fine. All right. So we'll go out this way. Very good. Uh, so we need to copy this thing. And to do that, we need a positive chisel design. And we might need a few of these, and that requires lapis. I don't think I've found lapis yet. Oh my lord, I haven't found lapis. Holy cow. All that mining and I haven't found lapis. Well, um, that's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a situation that I'm not a fan of. Um, hmm... The lapis is a concern. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I could go mining. You know what? Let's let's just keep going a little bit. I'm just going to build it out instead of, you know, worrying about lapis and all that type of stuff. What happened to my... Oh. What did I do to... Uh -huh. It's fine. Uh, so I'm just going to build this thing out because why not? Actually, what is, happens if I do that? Undo. Undo is what happens. Hmm. Not sure how to get that to go the way I want it to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we should just be able to go all the way to the end of this block for the second panel. Good. And I'm just going to go all the way across, same thing here, uh, until we get all this set up. All right, so the next step here is windows on top of this, right? So say we got this, we're going into windows now. Now, yes, this is vanilla glass at the moment. We could change that up, but I just, again, I'm experimenting. I want to learn how these things work. By the way, quick FYI, if you're placing down, be careful you're not placing lines or planes in the wrong direction and causing a fuss, basically. All right. Now, what I'm thinking is 
this whole block, we won't be able to actually place things there. So, for example, this pumpkin, right? Uh, let's just see. You can't, I don't think you can actually, yeah, you can't place it there, right? But what it's going to do is if we actually have this, an interior wall over here, it's going to give us a lot of room or at least space to walk around with piping. See? This is what I'm thinking. Already thinking ahead to piping, or trying to anyways. So, we have the glass in place. Again, haven't quite figured out a better way to implement some of this stuff, but that's okay. Uh, let's just get these pumpkins. I've been using pumpkins to jump around. Because <laughs> why not? Alright, pumpkins, good. We have this set to line, so we can start with the lines up the side here. Now, that line's going to be like that because it's going to go double once we place the block beside it over here, right? And then on the insides here, it's going to be double wide, covering up basically the border of the window itself, right? Pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy there. Now, I do want to cover up the border here as well um, in each section. Good and good. Okay. Excellent. So we basically have all of the borders covered by the wood. Okay. Now we're kind of thinking of this like an actual window, right? This is your window panes uh, behind some wood trim. Okay. If that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Now the problem that we have is this is like a four wide window. Now what I'm debating is we should actually like divide it up in the middle somehow. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. Maybe we should change this. Yeah. You know what? I'm changing my mind on the fly. Okay. So we still have the lines going up the middle because we're going to work in two chunk sections similar to below right so we still have these lines like that but instead of being right down the middle so we should have what 16 plus 16 is 32 minus 2 so we should have 30 blocks right so 30 we want to go into thirds so if we go like 10 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 if we do one there and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one there. What does that leave us in the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So that is officially right in the middle at a third. So we definitely probably have to change out the glass in the background to more of a clear um, connected texture type setup because, yeah, this is a little janky with this stuff in the middle so we'll just picture it for right now and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into single bits and i want to do the same thing vertically so we do actually require still the lines at the top that is still a thing okay kind of to frame out the window and then we're going to go into single bit mode and the same thing so we have 30 uh but i want to go down 10 again one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and place one. Okay. And then we'll go up 10 as well. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and place one. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run bits all the way around or all the way across like so. Good. And that should form some of the framework of the window, the wooden window frame, and I think it's going to look pretty good. Again, the glass is probably going to have to change out. Just saying, I don't think that's going to work for us. Um, just my assumption at this point. So I'm going to get this done. Uh, at least the woodwork. Uh, I don't think I have access to a better glass at this point in time. So we'll leave it for now. We'll have to come up with something. If you guys know of a glass that works well with chisel and bits, let me know. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Good. All right. 
Good. So we'll run this all the way across. And this is going to at least break up the window a little bit and kind of set up a different kind of look to it, right? Or at least what I have envisioned in my head. And yeah, that's kind of pretty good. That's not bad at all. And then what we could do is we could even do something on the top. I'd love to do like a rounded type thing on the top. I don't know. We'll have to play around a little bit more with that. But it's not too, too bad at all. I think that this is going to work quite well for us. Uh, outside of the glass, we'll need to we'll need to definitely adjust the glass in the background. But uh, yeah. Anyways, that's going to be it for me for right now. I'm going to keep on tweaking this and playing around with it and getting things done because, yeah, I'm kind of having fun. So if you like this episode, I know we got a little buildy here at the back end and maybe it's a little boring for some of you all, but it is a mod and I wanted to give it a try. Uh, let me know what you guys think on the glass in the background and all that kind of stuff. This is pretty intricate. This would be a pretty intricate build if we go the whole thing like this but with the copying of patterns and whatnot it might be okay we might be able to pull this off so let me know what you think and i'll see you next time bye bye for now